During the installation of a network, understanding the pattern and configuration of a network device and system is very important. To solve such problems, network topology is used, which explains the network configuration, network connection, and data exchange. Hi guys, I'm Vibhav Khandelwal, and I welcome you all to yet another exciting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Let's take a look at today's agenda. For the first step, we will look into what is network topology all about. Then, we will continue with why to apply this network concept. And then, we will look into different types of network topologies in detail. Then, we will choose which network topologies we should use. Then, let's begin with the first heading. What is network topology? It is referred to as an arrangement of multiple systems and network devices interconnected to each other through a physical medium or logical channel. The term network topology is combination of two individual network concepts. First is the network part, which represents the devices or systems that are also known as nodes, which is connected and how to change the data within the network. Then the other part is topology, which represents the connection medium between different network devices and governs the data flow between them. Moving on, let's talk about why do we apply the concept of network topology. For the first point, it allows the users to understand the overall model of the network along with the number of devices installed and their positions in the network, which provide ease of installation of security measures and networks and helps in case of troubleshooting cases. Then, for the next reason, Applying network topology helps the user to understand the communication relationship among the different devices and through a connection medium. This in turn helps the network professionals to set up an optimal network unit for the user. Next in the list, we have different types of topologies used in networking. First is the bus topology, then we have ring topology then star topology, then tree topology, and in the end, mesh topology. But to understand the concept of topology, let's start by point-to-point -point topology. This is simplest form of topology connection, which consists of two nodes connected through a connection medium like a network cable. The nodes at the two ends of the cable shares data information between them, where the data sharing part represents the network and the cable connection is the topology part. With this, we have understanding of network topology. Then, let's begin with complex types of tech connections. First is the bus topology. In this topology, the connection channel is a single cable known as the network backbone, through which all the other nodes are connected to. In this network setting, the data packets sent by the nodes are provided with the receiver address to avoid transmission errors. The data in this topology can travel from any endpoint where they are termed as terminate points. Advantages of bus topology It is easy to set up due to the simple configuration settings. This setting is also cost effective as it requires only a network cable for the connection. In the case of crash node, the whole network remains unaffected as it does not have any direct connection to the other node. Let's take a look at disadvantages of bus topology. In case of troubleshooting, we require the use of special equipment to detect the fault in the network. In the case of multiple data transmission, the packet collision is the frequent occurrence, damaging the transmitted message data due to the unavailability of network devices such as switches, repeaters, etc. The loss of data over long distances communication is quite high. Then, ring topology. As the name suggests, the nodes in the network are connected in a circular pattern similar to a ring. The data transmitted in this connection is always in the clockwise direction. The topology does not have any termination point 
due to its ring structure. The method of data transmission is used is known as token passing, which involves sending a token along with the data packet to which each of the node matches to identify the destination node using the destination address in the token. Next, advantages of ring topology. The crash node can be easily removed from the network. The configuration settings are not complex for setup and materials are easily accessible. The cost of installation is low as no extra network device are required to the connection. Moving on, we have disadvantages of ring topology. In the case of a node crash, the whole system is affected and is non-accessible due to the direct connection of each node. The transfer of data is slow due to the token passing method in the network. Difficulty in the troubleshooting fault in the connection leads to the crash of the whole network. Now let's talk about star topology. In this topology, the networks are connected to each other through the central hub, which can be a computer or a server. The central unit in the connection is also known as the server and the nodes are known as the clients. Any connection between the nodes has to be through the server and is one of the most popular topology connection. Next, advantages of star topology. In case of a node crash, the network as a whole remains unaffected as each node is connected to the server of a connection. The hardware requirements are easily available and of low cost. Troubleshooting is easy through the use of central hub to identify the faulty node. Disadvantages In case of a server failure, the whole network is shut down as all nodes are interconnected through the server. The connection configuration is complex due to the pattern of the topology. Next up, free topology. This topology is a combination of TAR and bus topology. The node connection in the topology follows hierarchical pattern with the topmost node as a root and the branching nodes as the child node. The sharing of data is from the root node to the child node pattern. Next up, advantages of tree. Installation of a new network group is easy due to the root child configuration of the network. In case of a node fault or crash, the whole network is not affected by the error. This makes it easier to troubleshoot the issue. Next up, disadvantages. In case of a server crash in any of the star connection group, the whole network is affected. Due to the complex setting of the topology, installing security points is difficult in the network. Configuring and troubleshooting internal issues is quite complex due to this topology. Next up, mesh topology. As the name suggests, this topology is a connection of interconnected system connected to each other in no particular order. No installation of network devices such as switch or hubs. This topology pattern can be divided into two forms. First is full mesh topology. In this connection, all the nodes are connected to each other in the network. Then we have partial mesh topology, where all of the nodes are connected to each other available in the network. Let's talk about the advantages of mesh topology. In case of node damage, the whole network does not suffer from the fault. Due to the interconnected patterns of the connection, the transmission of data is very high in the network. Next up, disadvantages. The cost of installation is high due to the requirement of multiple cables and nodes for the network to function efficiently. The management of the network becomes complex due to the large number of interconnections in the network. Due to the absence of repeater or a switch, the data signal loss during the transmission is very high. Now, let's take a look at how to choose best topology for a network configuration. First up, cost. The installation cost is one of the biggest factor that affects the type of topology configuration we choose from our network as the cost of installing cables, routers, switches and other network connections is low. Then we have easy installation. Installing the hardware devices efficiently and precisely is also one of the factors that affect our choice of network topology. Moving on, we have flexibility. The ability of the topology to include new network nodes after installation and ease of troubleshooting refers to the flexibility of topology. In the hand, we have reliable security. It is important that the topology installed allows us to introduce proper security points 
in the network and leading the fewer crash cases. By referring the above factors, we can decide the best topology for our network. With this, we have reached the end of the video. If you have any question regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.